Today, we will be interviewing Spencer Moran on the Ferguson Breach Loading Musket. Hello, my name is Spencer Moran, and I will be talking today about the Ferguson Breach Loading Musket. The Ferguson Breach Loading Musket was a 69 caliber musket made by Major Patrick Ferguson, who was in the British Army. This was called Breach Loading Musket because instead of the normal way of loading the musket, which was ramming the gunpowder and ball down the barrel with a ramrod. You could just open the trigger guard behind the barrel of the breech loading musket and insert the gunpowder there. Are you Ryan Kulik on the flintlock pistol and Pennsylvania rifle. Hello, I'm Ryan Kulik and I will be reviewing you the Pennsylvania Rifle and the Flintlock Pistol. The Pennsylvania Rifle is considered a sniper, more of a regular rifle. It has a caliber of 44 or 45, but can shoot almost two times the range of the musket. Now to talk about the Flintlock Pistol. The shots that rang out from a soldier's pistol was quite efficient. Even though soldiers that were known as being great with the pistol were still limited to two or three rounds per minute. This was largely due to the fact that each soldier would have an individually load each shell that went into the pistol. Even after the ammunition was loaded into their weapons, they would often not be able to hit their targets as hoped. The accuracy of the guns were terrible. When they had shots that ranged from 15 feet or less, they were a little more accurate. That said, many of the officers and men of higher stat uh, stature would often carry pistols. Now to talk about the Native American Tomahawk. Hello, I'm Ryan Kulik, and I'm here to talk about the Tomahawk. The Tomahawk is a type of axe that is used by the Native Americans to throw at the opposing enemy side. When not thrown, they usually just run up to the enemy and try to stab them with it. Now for a bayonet. A bayonet is just simply a long knife attached to a bus uh, musket, rather. Uh, and at close quarters for stabbing and fighting. Hello! I'm going to talk to you about the Pepper Box Pistol. Now, this pistol was pretty bad. It's just terrible. It only holds like six rounds and shoots like 15 feet. And only, you know, only British men held this thing because they were smart enough to. Now, it, it wasn't a popular pistol or anything. It, it was made like seven times. It, it's just not that good. And it just seems that it, uh, Germany, they wanted to make more barrels on it and make it 24. Now, a 24 shot pistol is not going to work, so German engineering is crap. That's all I have for you today on the Pepper Box Pistol.